Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast series The English Purist by IILM University. My name is Professor Pampush Gulati. If you think your minor grammar errors are no big deal, then think again. These little mistakes drive your readers crazy, especially if that person happens to be an English teacher, a college professor, a word nerd, a punctuation purist, or a professional editor. In this podcast, I will try and demystify the most common pet peeves in English grammar with some examples. Let's get started. One of the most common grammar pet peeves is the word a lot. This one is however easy to explain. A lot is actually two words. A lot together isn't a word. So don't use it. For example, I like grammar a lot. The second most common pet peeve is there as in t h e r e t h e i r and t h e y apostrophe r e there as in t h e r e is an adverb indicating place time or position for example let's go to the park we can walk there t h e i r shows possession for example have you met the new neighbors their house is beautiful t h e y apostrophe r e is actually a contraction for they are for example the neighbors are coming at 7 they are bringing a cake the third common pet peeve is y o u r and y o u apostrophe r e y o u r is a possessive pronoun it shows possession or ownership for example i love your new car y o u apostrophe r e is a contraction for the words you are For example, this cake is delicious. You are the best baker I know. The fourth most common pet peeve is to he and i. In fact, to he and i is wrong. To is a preposition. Prepositions are always followed by a noun. a pronoun called the object of the preposition this noun or pronoun needs to be in the objective form the pronouns i and he and she are used for subjects so they aren't the right choice here the pronouns me him and her are object pronouns so they are in fact the right choice here for example my grandma gave flowers to him and me one of the last most common pet peeves is its i t s and i t apostrophe s i t s its is a possessive pronoun the word its all by itself shows possession so it definitely does not need an apostrophe for example the cat played with its toy let me tell you one more thing here his for example h i s is another possessive pronoun but we never put an apostrophe in his right i t apostrophe s is a contraction for the words it is for example it's time to learn grammar hope this podcast series 
helps you in demystifying these pet peeves. We'll come back for more on English grammar.